Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dami, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys my full wash day routine using only Maya products. And I was able to hop on that sale that they were having for Black Friday. The, the sale ran from Black Friday all the way until Cyber Monday, and their entire site was up for six dollars. Six dollars, you guys, and they had a giveaway. So they were giving away like a, a large body Mercedes for the first first prize and I think tech products for the second and I don't remember what it was for the third but yeah <laughs> I made sure to hop on for the sale mainly because I I didn't I've never tried their shampoos and conditioners and I've only tried their deep conditioner from the rosemary and mint line and the leave-in conditioner from the pomegranate and honey so those are the only two items i've ever tried from myel so i wanted to try like the full line the only thing i could not get from the full line from the pomegranate and honey i could not find a deep conditioner for them and the edge control i could have sworn i picked it up but i didn't <laughs> i forgot it so yeah so if you'd like to see how i achieve this balm wash and go then Stay tuned. Okay guys, so to get started, I did uninstall my crochet, my easy crochet crisscross look. And I did go ahead and do a little bit of a detangling before. So if you, as you guys can see, my hair was in four sections. Because I did detangle my hair before I went into the whole wash routine. I normally don't just go ahead and wash my hair because it makes it harder for me to um, detangle once water touches it so I normally detangle first and then I go ahead and start my wash routine so my hair was in four sections because I detangled then I went ahead and, add, and cleansed my hair with the pomegranate and honey moisturizing and detangling shampoo I did not detangle with the shampoo I only de detangled with the conditioner this shampoo and conditioner was perfect for type 4 hair so it's a pre-tangled thick curly type 4 hair type of shampoo so if you guys have type 4 like me and if you would like to try out a new product and you haven't tried the mild pomegranate and honey I liked it it was moisturizing I didn't feel like it was super moisturizing though it felt like my hair was clean you know like that squeaky clean <laughs> that's how I felt putting it into my hair And this line that I'm using, it is perfect for type 4 hair. I did go ahead and take, took a quiz on their website where it asks you or quizzes you on what type of hair you think you may have. And from there, once it gave you your answer, you were able to choose from the line of products that work best for your hair. So for me, I already knew I was type 4, but I still wanted to take the test anyways to see if they had anything else to offer for type 4 here the only thing that they had for type 4 was a pomegranate and honey so I did go ahead and took uh, bought those items <clears throat> especially because I've never tried their shampoo and conditioner before so now on to the conditioner I really love this better than the shampoo who really likes shampoo really a lot of people go more for the conditioner especially if you're natural because it just works better with detangling so yeah, I'm just putting it through my hair and it smells really good. It has no like strong scents or anything. And it gave my hair really good slip for the detangling process. I'm just working from the ends to the roots. And as you can see, I'm having no issues detangling. So you guys, if you have not tried it, I definitely would recommend it. I prefer the conditioner than the shampoo. 
but you can definitely get both if you want to pair them both together. As I said, I didn't find a deep conditioner for the pomegranate and honey line. I looked, I couldn't find one, but I saw that they had the Baba Sue and Mint deep conditioner, and this one was perfect for all hair types, so I wanted to give it a try. I can say that this stuff smells so good. I love the way this thing smells. Oh, it smells, it smells like, I don't know if you guys have ever had mint tea, like it has that nice refreshing smell. I just love the way that this stuff smells. So I loved it. As soon as I applied it to my hair, the curls started to pop, you guys. This deep conditioner is light. It's not as thick as I thought it would have been. Normally my deep conditioners are on the thicker side, but this one is pretty thin. Like it's, it's pretty thin, which, was a con for me but other than that I feel like it still did the trick this is a protein and moisture replenisher for dry and damaged hair so if you guys are suffering from dry and damaged hair and you want a protein you want to restore protein to your hair definitely give this a try it does wonders I love it the only thing is I wish it was a little bit bigger and I wish it was a little bit thicker because it only has eight fluid ounces in it and I'm not gonna get much I'm already half I'm already half of this already since using it once so normally I get more than two <laughs> deep um, two tries with my deep conditioner not two so this was a little a, a little disappointing that it was so small I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger but what we gonna do after applying the deep conditioner I did go ahead and allow my hair to sit under the plastic cap for 30 minutes I think I spent like 45 minutes actually because I was doing stuff around my home so I didn't apply heat you can't apply heat with this deep conditioner it says that you can cover with a plastic cap for 15 minutes but if you want intensive tr if you want an intense treatment you can sit under the dryer for 30 minutes I didn't sit under the dryer for 30 minutes but I did leave it on for quite some time so it did the trick after washing it out of my hair my head, hair felt so nice and soft and manageable I didn't really have to do any detangling after applying that to my hair because my hair was just fine I then went ahead and added the leave-in conditioner to my hair. As you guys know, this is my favorite deep conditioner. Not deep conditioner. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner um, for type 4 hair. If you have not tried it, definitely pick it up. At, your local, at my local beauty supply store, I got this for $12.99. But again, on their website, they were selling everything for $6.00. So hopefully they have a, a sale like this again so I can get, let you guys know. Definitely follow me on Instagram because I do share information as well about sales whenever I do see them pop up for natural hair brands. So you guys can hop on the sale too. But yeah, this leave-in conditioner, is it feels so nice and soft. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my hair into small sections so that I can apply my coil sculpting custard so far I really like this it's not too thick but again it also allows my curls to form real nicely and it dries really nice it doesn't give you that that crusty <laughs> feel once it's dry it, it dries nice and soft and my hair is nice and bouncy <laughs> so you guys I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the coiling custard starting from the back 
and then I work my way to the front I just took my hand and finger combed my hair I didn't really do the coiling around my fingers because that would have taken too long so I just did the finger comb through my entire head and I gave my hair a little side swoop normally I go down the middle but I wanted a side look this time and yeah The final results you guys I love it I love it other than uh, I did the jerry curl wash and go and that was one of the best wash and goes I've ever had and I can honestly say that this is one of the best wash and, curl, wash and go I've had as well this just it gives the coiling the coil sculpting custard it gives your hair like a really nice shine without leaving it greasy so your hair looks really nice and moisturized after you're finished I think that coupling it with the leave-in conditioner really helped it to keep that softness to the hair as well once it started to dry because you know with some uh, gels or custards they dry and it gives you like a crunchy feel and this did not give me a crunchy feel to my hair once it was dry I still have a few dampness in the roots but other than that my hair is pretty much on the dry side and yeah. see it's so nice and flowy and so nice and but yeah this is the finished look I really do love this product if you have not tried it I definitely recommend you picking this up from your local beauty supply store, Amazon, Myel, anywhere you can grab it. Definitely pick it up. You will not regret it. Especially if you're type 4 like me, you will not regret it. It works perfectly. So yeah, this is it for the video guys. If you guys enjoyed my wash day routine, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another one. Bye!